Good evening, everyone. Another episode of Presa Canario One and One. We're gonna talk about line breathing, in breathing, out cross, and cross breed. Uh, this is the second part of how to breathe. And what I choose, uh, I got a lot of questions. Why I choose to make a line? I got uh, different reasons. First of all, there been a lot of a lot of uh, cross breeds into uh, into Presa today. Uh, they incorporate uh, incorporate uh, boxer, Neapolitan must anything uh, to change the appearance of the dog. And to avoid that, you have to keep breathing into on, into your own stock to avoid that contamination. Uh, I see a lot of dogs with a lot of uh, uh, genetic disease. There is no good, like epilepsy. Uh, keeping my jar closed, I I avoid those uh, uh, genetic defect. And people say, but if you breathe, how long you can breathe into your own? You can breathe into your own uh, if you know what to do. You can breed your own dogs for a very, very long time if you know what you're doing. I keep doing tests. Uh, I use uh, the first one I, I did use. Uh, it was Royal Canin. Uh, it was a blood test, very accurate. Uh, I no longer uh, take more dogs over there. The reason why I know my dogs are pure. And that, since that one, I already passed it, I use Ember now. <clears throat> I have two dogs on Ember uh, at, at this time. Uh, my brother tests two of them, uh, of my dogs. Uh, somebody in Puerto Rico breed two of my dogs and they test the offspring. So when you do that, when you do a line, it will show something like this came the dog that i was talking uh, uh i was talking about uh came del cacique it came from two of my dogs a male and a female it was no crossing into somebody else uh dogs it was using the guy uh used two of my dogs so that's why he got 51 percent shared dna uh with pantera and all they share, they share uh, big percents. Uh, this is the lowest, 38 percent. The more deeper you go into your lines, and you have, if you really are doing line breathing, and you making your own line, you cannot, like I say before, you cannot use somebody else's dogs. You can use something what came from your dogs. I can use this dog. Because it come from my line. At any moment I, uh, I wanted to. And I would not destroy anything. But if I use something, it's a scatterbread, that will not become a line anymore. And what I mean by a scatterbread is a lot of, a lot of different dogs from different breeds. They don't have no relation whatsoever between one and the other. And when you do the DNA in Inbar, you look for for a uh, full report. You click on there and go all the way at the end, and you will find this, the result. In breeding and diversity, all breed, all pure bread, the coefficient of inbreeding, it should be higher. When you get zero, zero percent, you might have other breeds into your breed. So it will not be a pure breed. So we got an example. This is 26. That's Pantera 2. Uh, and this one, uh, she is, she's my third generation. And this one. is 21 percent is less but it's high as well 
And this one on the father side, on the uh, the father side, have three generation uh, from the father of the father, from the grandfather of her. I have three generation of, of me, and on the bottom, she is the third. And the second from the grandmother from the father's side. So that's what she looks uh, a little lower, a little tiny bit. Uh, I got another dog. Uh, I don't, uh, it doesn't belong to me. It belongs to my brother. According to him, his uh, coefficient of inbreeding is 35%. That's even higher. And it should be higher. When you do a line, when you're making your own line, your coefficient of inbreeding should be higher, no lower, no zero, no five. That's no a line. That's a scar of breeding. And by doing my own line, I, abo I avoid this. 73% perro de presa canario, 16.5%. American Pitbull Terrier and 10.1 Mastiff. Why I want to I wanna, uh, have all those breeds into my, my dogs. If I, if I sell a Presa Canario, it should sell 100% Presa Canario, not 73, not 56. It should be 100%. Because no, that will be a scam. And much of these people, when they come with the result, I see result even worse than this. And what I use this, because it was available online. I got many results that I have people sending me. They, they come worse than this. And by supposedly what you guys call them top breeders. To me, there is no a scene of top breeder. When I say that, you sell puppies to live and you don't test them, you are a puppy mill. That's what these kennels are, puppy mills. Only selling dogs. They don't test their own. They claim to have a line. But if you go and test them, and bar, the only thing, can, uh, Canin Royale, you can do both. Because Canin Royale is very accurate on the percent of... Uh, uh, it is mixed or is pure. The only problem, it doesn't have the coefficient of inbreeding. That's what I, I don't do it with uh, wisdom and anymore. I go in through ember. I know what I'm breathing. And when you breathing, when you breathing, if you get one of my dogs and you ember test, you will get a notification saying that you have a relay, uh, a related answer, uh, a related uh, uh, dog. That mean my dogs. They will. Uh, I will get a notification. You get as well because I got my data open so everybody see it, and everybody can uh, can prove their dogs as purebred and and as a line. I will get a notification like this one. It say uh, that you have a shared DNA with King. The Pantera have a DNA uh, share. So that means they're related. And it will come uh, uh, very well explained. Um, <clears throat> so you can see it. So every dog that you that, you, that I breed... I will get it, and you guys DNA uh, on Embar, it will it will uh, give me a notification, and you get one as well. Okay, uh, here uh, I will not go with the coefficient of inbreeding. That's right here. That's the coefficient of inbreeding, fifteen point sixty three percent. What I will not rely this. Because these pedigrees can be changed. And what I mean by that, there's uh, people, they are, no, they are no honest. I see it all the time. People, oh, this data can be, can be manipulated by a scam. 
that's what I, I use both. I can show you my pedigree of this one. And you see all these dogs, they are related. For one way or another, top and bottom. They come from Jack Dempsey, Candela de los Morales, Evita. That's the only three dogs you're going to see in my pedigrees. And what I choose in, uh, these three dogs, because I, I tested them. They was tested, and they, they, uh, what I wanted in the dog, my vision of a presa, those three dogs have them. My vision, my, my vision, it is to have a dog who can naturally protect you. They don't need training at all. And my dogs, they don't even prove that generation after generation, they've been proved they in, uh, can do more than that. I got a dog uh, named Asap. It's a brother's uh, Cuervo. I got, uh, I got a video on Presa 1 and 1 as a multipurpose dog. You can see that dog, it was hurting a pack of chip and goats. Uh, no, not only, and he's a good guardian, he's a good, uh, uh, loving pet. He's a perfect family dog. I cannot be more happy to see a dog like that, uh, doing all, all that. Uh, the parents of that dog is uh, actually brother, little mate brother of Cuervo. The parents are Vigo de los Morales and Candela de los Morales. Grandfather Jack Dancy and Evita de los Morales. The uh, breathing uh, that I did between these two dogs, it was a very good breathing. Uh, a, lot, uh, a lot of dogs from that uh, breathing came out very good, protecting, natural protector. Nothing has to be done to them. Uh, like mine, <clears throat> what I did with Cuervo, I'm sorry, with Cuervo, I tested him. And some that, uh, sometime after that test that I did when, uh, when he was under a zero, uh, done by Lou Legend, uh, he came out in seconds, uh, uh, naturally. That's what I do, test my dogs to make sure I can bring back those natural traits because if I don't test them, how I know this trait coming back. So it's always, I always keep testing all my dogs. And then from there, like so when, when he start get anxious, I call it uh, a, a civil agitator trainer and we take that out of the system. That's what I do after that. Uh, that's what you see different uh, agitators uh, with Cuervo. Not that many. Actually, three, three, maybe if, maybe four agitators on him. Why I use agitator and I don't use decoy or a helper? My, I don't, I'm not interested in a sport at all. If I was want to do a sport and no, I don't need personal protection dogs or guard dogs. I will get a Belgian Malanois and do a sport. Those dogs, they are the Correct dog for that sport. Uh, and I don't say uh, who is better. It's what you need. What you need in life. If you want a sport dog, I suggest you to get a Belgian Malanois uh, bred into a sport. So you can win. This dog, that's what they are not when they come uh, uh, for work and... and uh, actually, when they do a sport, they, they love a sleeve. They, they are junkies, sleeve junkies. I don't need that. I need a dog that when I want to sit and watch a movie, he can sit next to me and be calm. I don't want a, uh, a dog go 100 miles per hour. And let me tell you, presas, they are no good for, 
for sport. They are not made for it. They are made for family guardians. So all those people that you see doing a sport, why they don't compete in the nationals with the Belgians? Because they are no good. They just faking. And, and this dog, let me tell you, you put them, you, you push in too much and they will buy you for real. They are no playing. Defense and play drive or, 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 or play drive it's not the same as defense. Defense is another another level. Very far. And I don't say the Belgian Malanois, they are bad or this and that. No, no, no. Belgian Malanois, for what they was designed for, they make a good for what they are designed. About design. You guys, uh, let me see if I cover everything that I want to talk today. I did. I think I did. Uh, gonna repeat one day, one more time. I do line breathing because I don't want to lose my traits. And another thing, I don't want my dogs being a scatterbrain and get this. If I want an American Pitbull Terrier, I buy one. If I want a Mastiff, I will buy one. I don't want a dog with all those breeds because this dog is a mutt. It's not a purebred. Purebred dog, it has to be 100% the breed, in my opinion. People say 88% to me, that's not acceptable. Or 85, I don't know what, what uh, the rules are on um, purity to be considered a, a purebred dog. But to me, this is my opinion. So I'm buying a dog. I don't want no 75% presa, no 80. I want 100% presa. And I want that dog no also be 100%. Also, there will be natural guardian i don't want it i don't want to teach the dog how to bite because it's i have to teach him everything that's no a presa presa canario in the uh standard says very clear and uh the temperament it has to be there the guard instinct has to be there the character has to be there so I'm expecting that in my dogs. And that's another reason why I keep my blood tight. And I don't go, I've been over a decade without bringing another dog. These four dogs that I started, it took me five years to find them because I'm a very picky person. And when I want something, I get it. And don't buying dogs just to buy a dog. Buying a dog for a reason. Yes, I love my dogs, but my dog have to do something to please myself too. And this dog they did by watching watching my back, protecting my my property, and protecting my family. And that's all I ask from them. And it's, I get it, uh, I, and you can hunt with them. Uh, my dogs, uh, uh, some of them, they've uh, been hunting. Actually, I test, I test uh, uh, Evita uh, one time, and she did great without any, but the problem with Presa, like people ask me, they are good for hunting. They are, but they, are, they, are, they cannot work. I mean, you might get lucky and can get working in, in, in team. But Presa, we, don't, we, we cannot forget this. Presa in the past, he was a fighting dog as well. And that instinct is in there. So don't forget that. That's another, another thing. Presa without in, an instinct of fighting another animal is no a Presa. That has to be there. And I don't say to, uh, I know, 
I'm not saying to fire, uh, that I'm fighting dogs or, or stuff like that. I'm talking about you can go and hiking and you can uh, uh, encounter a panther. Uh, panther. Uh, there is a, actually here one one panther jump and try to get uh, one of my female named Osa. And my dog fired the panther back. And the panther have to run away. Uh, no, my dog is sleep inside. Inside the house. There are some outside dogs. And those those dogs they are exposed to the to to nature. And nature in here is it, it can be cruel. Uh, mo many neighbors uh, uh, in here, they lost a lot of dogs. Uh, panthers eat them. Uh, Buckcat. We got even bears in here. And a lot of alligators everywhere. So you have to adapt to where you live. So these dogs, they are perfect. Perfect in farms. They, they can handle any, uh, uh, pretty much anything and save your kid life or your own life. Uh, that's what I, uh, a reason I, uh, I came back to Presa because of that natural instinct. I don't like to teach dog anything. Can you imagine I got right now 13 dogs and I have to uh, take everyone by, by their hand, by their paw, and teach them how to bite. A dog has to born to want to bite is necessary. If you have to teach your dog how to bite, you got a problem. And I see in a lot of dogs today, they have to be been teach everything. A dog, it has to have guard natural instincts. That's what we got this breed for, and he say all in the standard. And we have a lot of issues, a lot of problems. And it's because oh, people wants to sell dogs and they put anything to anything. Uh, and we got we we get uh, all this car breed watered down. I used to love for a while, and before when I was going to get a, uh, a presa, I was thinking in a row wallet. But I didn't find a well-bred one. And for, for it, you want a task, you need to know, you need to know how to read pedigrees. And see what is in there that he can, that he can, that, that he can, that you can get from it. It's very important. Genetic is very, very, very important. Like I say, this dog, it was test. Actually, this dog uh, died defending me. This dog, it was test. Actually, these two dogs, one night, they tear uh, an attacker in my house. Somebody came, uh, I don't know, it was uh, came to a steal, he jumped the fence. And my dog's hearing it. I let them go, both of them. And the guy ran out, uh, run out of the property. Uh, they did their job. Bigo was test. Candela it was test. Uh, Cuervo is been test many times. I mean, no many times, but at least four or five. Uh, actually, they're, I call them tune-ups. I'm not training dogs. Training dogs, all these dogs. That's also the uh, the female I was talking about. Though he get attacked by a panther, and she survived the attack. Actually, she kicked the panther butt. Loncillo's been test. Mariana as well. Uh, all these dogs, once they're better than others, and like this dog, I love this dog. This dog is very, 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 very firm. Uh, uh, he doesn't back up for a fight. He loves to fight. He bully. He loves to bully. Uh, 
That's one of my favorites right now. And uh, another dog named Cortez. Cortez actually is Mariana, uh, Mariana brother of, uh, from the same litter. I love that dog too. He's a very forward dog as well. Uh, let me see if I can, I can find him. And tell you about a little about him. This dog uh, is actually top and bottom Dempsey, uh, from top Candela and bottom Mevita. And this dog, before then he been test, he brought uh, he by uh, by my brother in the chest. Uh, actually, this dog have two life bites and a friend of mine. And it's because people stare my dogs into the eyes. And my dogs doesn't like that. People try to be funny and try to scare my dogs. Sometimes it's not like that. Uh, people think they're friendly and I tell them they're uh, not. Uh, and nobody, I don't do that uh, touching a dog that I don't know. I don't care if it is a, a, a poodle or it's a Doberman. I respect their space. Uh, that's another thing. When you, so I see a lot of people trying to pet dogs without permission of the owner. You should ask first. Because even a Chihuahua can buy you. Uh, I don't, I know a person uh, they like pet dogs. I pet my own dogs and that's it. I'm tired of petting dogs. So I'm not going to the neighborhood and every dog I see, I'm tired. I have to pet my, my dogs all day long pretty much. So that's something I don't have problem with. Uh, anyway, that's it for today. And uh, God bless you all. And if you have uh, any comments or a video you guys want uh, to ask, uh, for me to make, I can do it, uh, anything, uh, leave a comment, uh, in the comment section, uh, thank you all, and have a great day, bye.